food is life. Fabulous.com. Wine is magical. My life's quite normal, really. Just a small town girl. L O L. territory on YouTube. Now today I am doing some cooking and I thought I would take you guys along. Um, it today's a very decadent cooking. We're going to be doing some great chocolatey goodness today. Chocolate. Today we're going to be cooking some chewy fudge and I've got three packs of it so we're just going to cook the shit out of this. We're just going to cook like there's no tomorrow and that our life depends on chewy fudge because really at the end of the day it does. Basically we're just going to get everything that we need first. I mean, y'all cooking with me, you gotta make sure everything's right. A big bowl. Well, see, I don't really have a big bowl. Like, I don't have a huge bowl. Last I checked, we don't have a big, big, big bowl. So, this is the biggest bowl I've got. For three packs, I really hope this is okay. I might have to grab a big pot just to replace it. You don't have a big... Okay. If you don't have a big bowl, you might want to get a big pot, too. I might actually just do that. So, let me find a big pot. This is what I'm talking about. You could use a big old pan like this. Probably fit a lot more. <clears throat> probably fit a lot more in there and get a lot more done. Uh, so I will also need. Oh, right, the cup. Where is that little cup? Ah, there it is. This little uh, doohickey, <laughs> a measuring cup. We need one of those. We need some water, vegetable oil. I use E V O O, extra virgin olive oil. Uh, and one large egg. Well, since there's three, we're getting three large eggs. <laughs> okay, so... Shoot. Oh, shit. Ah, well, folks, the sad news is there's only two eggs. So we're only going to be cooking two packs today. Sorry. Back in there you go for next time. Alright, so we have the two eggs ready. This is now garbage. Look at the flick of their And so basically, so I'm gonna see if we have some electronic mixers here available to us. Uh, here's, yeah, I think I do. This is for the presentation later on. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I have a nice electric mixer here. Don't know if I have the prompt for it though. gonna be a piece of cake. I thought I'd have to like stir this and shit. That's that. But first things first, we need to get our ingredients into the pot. So first and foremost, let's see what we need first. The large eggs. So those can go in first. They should go in first because you should mix them first. But when you get the eggs inside the pot or your bowl, make sure to stir those eggs nice and good and then put in all your other ingredients. Because I know I, I made that mistake last time. Not that it changes things a lot, but, um, you know, it's just, it's a lot easier. It's a lot easier. To, so I'm not even, gonna, I'm not going to be lazy. I'll do this myself. Like so. Oh, it's just so much fun to cook. You know, I was just getting so tired of cooking meals and entrees and appetizers and such. I was uh, getting ready to bake something actually bake some chocolate or you know whatever you name it okay. so that's good uh let's see here so now we need some water but of course we need uh, 124 milliliters of water basically we need that much water oh, no 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 make sure you get your measurements that should be good right there. The water in, and then, okay, I'm gonna put the baking, baking mix in first, and then I'm gonna put in the oil. I will preheat the oven now, actually. There we go. So that's heating now. And then I'll have to grease the pans and whatnot. Maybe I should do that, uh, Just I'll just do that now. So what pans are we gonna use today? Um, so here's one of the pans that you might be using. I need to rinse this one out, it's a little uh, gross. Pick a pan that's going to do good for you. If you find that 
you need a bigger pan because of the quantity of brownies in your mix, that is fine. I'm just using this pan because it seems a little thicker than that one there. Not by much, but enough that it might make difference in the thickness of our brownies. And we're gonna dry that off there. Look at that. Would you just look at it? Oh, would you just look at that? Dry that off like so. Because I have to grease that up and I, might, I would like to have it nice and dry for when I grease it up. <sighs> okay, just like so. So, okay, so we're gonna grease it up. Grease the bottom of the pan with shortening. Well, we always tend to use butter or margarine. And if you want to use butter or margarine, go ahead. I use butter all the time. So, I mean, you just go ahead. Ooh. Okay, so basically, I'll take that same fork and we're gonna take some butter in there. I'm going to take that butter and I am going to grease the pan. Just like so. It's just enough butter. You want to get the sides too because you do not want your brownie to stick to the side of the pan. Okay, folks? Oh, God. My hands are so small that they just tend to take all the butter and kind of scoop it into the palm of my hand. So you want to make sure that doesn't happen. Look at that. Summer recipes. You know, if you're in the have the craving for some brownies on a nice hot summer day like today, well, why don't you go ahead and cook some brownies? I mean, that's what I'm doing today because today's a nice hot summer day. I'm all alone and I need something to keep me comfort. And what's better than comfort food? Brownies, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. So I'm just going to wash my hands of this greasy sh Yes. You want to make sure you have your area as clean as possible. You don't want to, you know, uh, leave anything a mess. Clean as you go along. It's just the best way to keep everything right. So basically, you got to get rid of that butter as well. Along the sides, here at the top, because of course not. Put that in the recycling. Or <laughs> not the recycling, the laundry. Uh, oh, and look at that. This is the grease pan. Would you look at that? Would you just look at that? Just look at it. Look at it. Wow. Just wow. Okay, so now we're going to finish putting everything into the pot and doing some stirring. Or sorry, some beating. Next, we need 120 milliliters of vegetable oil, but EVOO works just as well. That seems like quite a lot of oil, but... And I'm going to put the mix in first and then put the oil on top. Okay. Cool. So basically, but would you just look at that? Oh, oh, would you just look at that? So one and two, like so. And then we're gonna put the oil just on top, like so. Oh, look at that cascade. <gasps> okay. So now we're gonna. Oh shit. Oh, you know what? There we go. So now they're in. Yeah. Now they're in. So now we're gonna we're gonna plug this in here like so. And I'm gonna start beating this to a nice, nice creamy substance. So you wanna start off slow just to get that just to get the powder so that the powder doesn't fly around a lot. You wanna make sure you're doing it nice and slow, massaging it in first. Very, very slow. And then once it becomes a paste. Then you can turn up the speed. So when I get to that pasty thickness, I can start to increase the speed. But for now, we're just gonna take a nice and slow, just like so. Oh, would you just look at that? Okay, so now that it's a little thicker, um, now that it's thicker, I can turn it up. Oh yeah, to level six. Six. Yeah. Woohoo! This is exciting. You want to make sure you get it just until it is to a nice consistency. It's obviously going to be very thick because it is chewy fudge. So you, just, you just don't want It's different than cake mix. You know, a lot of people are used to cake mix when they're cooking. This is going really well, though. I don't think we're going to have any problems. Great. Okay. Oh, it's just fabulous, folks. Just fabulous. I'm going to leave this here because I like to lick the the spinners. 
I've always liked the sweaters ever since I was a little kid. And I don't have any siblings to share them with anymore, thank God. It's just me now. We used to have to give one to one of my sisters and then the one to the other sister and I get none. But then they'd be like, oh no, no, give some to T. So now I get to just eat, lick it all. So maybe we should unplug that first before my tongue becomes a bad tangled mess. The next step is uh, to take a break and lick this clean. Very good. Very good. Okay, so now, so now that that's done, whew, that chocolate was good. This is some good mixture, guys. Put it in the greased pan immediately. So now, I wish I could, you know what? I'm not right-handed, left-handed, so I do it like so, but just here we go, y'all. Oh, here we go. Look at this. Oh my. I think I'm gonna need a bigger spoon. So I'm gonna need a bigger spoon, just like so. Oh, mm, like so. Oh, there we go. So it doesn't seem like it fills the whole pan, but when you even it out, it, you can just take some. You can take the back of the spoon and just even it all out in the pan. That's what I would do, please. <laughs> just, it's very sticky substance though. It's very, very sticky. So you want to make sure that uh, you get it out of this pan and in, out of this pot, rather, and into the pan as soon as possible. Okay, so that does not seem like, if we had the third package, this would probably be full. So I must have underestimated the size of this brownie. Massage it out like so. I'll just show you guys what I'm doing. No, just massage it around. So it's, it's like, it's almost like a dough substance at this point because it's a chewy fudge and not just a standard brownie. So basically I like to just massage it into the corners. I must have, I really underestimated the size of the, the other pan. Massage it in like so. So yeah, you have a bit of, it's a little bit thin, but I'm sure it'll rise and it'll be very good at the end anyways. We have some icing to put on it as well. I'm gonna put a little signature thing on it. I, I like to, uh, actually, no, that's what with the icing. Designs I like to put on it, but we'll do that after. When we have the icing, of course. And now we put it in the oven. So we're gonna put it in for about 27 minutes, 28 minutes. If anything, you can put it in for 30 minutes. It's just the size of the pan. It matters on the size of the pan. So I'm just gonna throw this in. Here we go. Would you just look at that? Would you just look at it? Would you just look at that? Oh, okay. So that's going in for about. Uh, there was some on the side. That's going in for about just shy of half an hour. Just like that. That is that. That's going to take care of that. Now I've got some dishes to do, which means I'll constantly keep your space clean. Clean and tidy. I myself am a bit of an OCD freak, so I keep this place as clean as possible without, you know, can't, you don't have to ask me twice. I clean like crazy. Just keep your space clean. Butter, put that away. This can be washed. You know what I mean? Simply, simple stuff. Yeah. So, I mean, you can lick the pot if you want, but I've licked enough chocolate. I'm a bit of a fat artist, as they'd say. Clean my countertops. Sorry. Okay. Just like so. I'm gonna cook a hamburger and eat it. <laughs> we'll see you in a few minutes. 25 to be exact. See you soon! Hello and we're back! And guess what? It's just about time. It looks like the brownies are done. 
So we're gonna put on our trusty little oven mitts, little lobster claws. We're gonna reach in here, grab this brownie. Ooh, look at this! Oh! Not gonna do the zoom again! Oh my here. goodness! We've got a special guest! Come on in! Oh, would you look at that? It's our special guest! You can't cook oh, without yeah, Abigail. Hello, the cook is here! Here she is, Here's Abigail it. Cook! Chewy fudge brownies. That's right. Put those mitts on, honey. We're gonna eat them in just a few seconds. But before that, we have to ice them. But of course, they're a little hot, Don't so we can't uh, ice them right away. But if you'd like to get a little cheese or peas, we can have a little. I just like sneaking in there when you're not looking. Well, let's have a little test. We'll have a little test to little see right without the icing. Oh, these are two different plates. Oh, we'll use the smaller plate. Or if you want to put on some icing, we can't wait for it to cool down. You cannot have brownie. Double put brownie. <laughs> so basically, uh -huh. mm. usually you wait for it to cool down and put icing on and then you start eating it. But we're a little anxious hungry. and hungry. Mm -hmm. So we're going to dig in and then put the rest with it. But I will cut us a little piece to get a little brownie. We'll just rinse off. Same thing. Same thing. Same thing. Any food in a pan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just like so. Would you just look at it? Would you just look at that? Would you just look at it? Oh, oh no! Ah! <laughs> It's just for you. All for you. So oh. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Now we're going to eat this with our Because you've already started. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now we dig in. Thanks, y'all, for watching. Now, if you guys tune in later, we might have some more cooking episodes coming up soon. I don't know what I'm going to cook, but maybe I'll let you in on a couple of my homemade family secrets that I've come up with myself. We'll see. I'm going to have to debate that with myself to see if I can divulge because I'm those type of secrets to the world because someone could steal it. So I might just keep it quiet for now, but I keep stay tuned and maybe you'll see some new recipe, some new video, and we'll see you soon. Enjoy. Cook yourself at home. Oh, that doesn't sound right. Don't cook yourself at home. <laughs> cook these brownies by yourself at home or with a friend or with somebody. And uh, the cook. Uh, now I'm going to go eat a pan of brownie and cry about it later on and turn on some Netflix. Oh, Goodbye. <laughs> Oh, would you just look at that? Oh, well, thanks y'all for watching and make your own brownies one day. Oh, look at that milk. That'd go good with it too. Mmm, nice warm brownie. Well, I'd like to thank Betty Crocker, Duncan Hines. Thank you guys for creating great bacon mix because I can't make shit from scratch. Oh, put icing on that too. Mm-hmm. Well, thanks for watching. I hope to see you guys soon. I'll be cooking some more. Bye y'all.